The Energy Digital Art Competition was one of those activities selected to celebrate Energy Month here in Belize. This way, we would get an insight into their perspectives of the energy sector, what it was, what it is, and what they envision it to become. It's just coming together collectively as a country, among all the other countries to preserve Mother Earth, so we could be um, sustainable in the future. What I was trying to portray when I was drawing this was like a symbiotic relationship between nature, because Belize are like all nature. Our national symbols are like flora, fauna, animals, and they, they're, they're still alive, they're not extinct. And how we can live together, but, but at the same time protecting what we have. So if we can use solar power from the sun and wind power from the breeze, which we have sun and breeze, then together with the hydro, in my mind, there should be a way that we can lower our like grid power usage, our crude oil usage, and be a little more mindful about what we have and how we can protect it. The name of this art piece is Sub Umbra Forero. As you might understand, it's the same coat that we have on our national flag. So why I was the main idea is to create this bridge in between the past and the present and eventually hopefully the future. As you can see, we, I have some elements of the flag, like the persons inside used to be the woodcutters back in the days, 19th centuries, 18th to 19th centuries. And it was the cutting of mahogany tree and exported towards the European Union. So presently we have, well, you can see a gardener and a engineer in this case, which is the team of conservation and having new, new, renewable energy from this present time in hopes of having a better future, I must say. And there's a detail that I'd like to mention is the coat of arms. I put a extra scratch marks on it. It's not really something very, um, how do you say, serious, but it is to represent the crisis that we're currently in. You know, the financial crisis, the health crisis, and even the environmental crisis in this case. As you can see, I arrange it in a certain way to have a better representation of our Belize flag. So these are just the two examples of renewable energy. I know there is the dam as well that we have in Belize. Climate change is the main topic amongst the world leaders right now. So all of us are trying to input our ideas of having sustainable future here on Earth. Um, everything has to come down to preservation and conservation. And um, these types of energy um, sources are very renewable. And it's like um, we don't have to be causing pollution. So we will minimize our carbon footprint here um, in the world. And uh, we could eventually just um, transition from the old methods to these energy efficient and clean energy sources.